sort of learnt to sail in Victoria, and that was with my father. He was mainly on small boats, Hobie Cats and so forth, um, and we just did that in Port Phillip Bay out of St Kilda Marina. So that's where I sort of got into it, and then we bought a uh, small sort of trailer sailor boat for the family, so we had some fun on that. Moved to Hong Kong in my early 20s, um, and it's a great place to sail around and get off the island on weekends. So we bought a boat at Peterson 30 when I was over there with a friend. And so we did a lot of sailing over there, um, but it was very much more just, just time to get away from the busy aspects of Hong Kong and get out there and enjoy ourselves just with our family. From there on, I met Chris, who had probably done a few more uh, races and sailing around the world than I had. He'd done a couple of fast nets and a few other things uh, on his, on his, on his um, program over the years. And we sort of chatted over many occasions, over a few beers, and just sort of decided, look, at some point when we get the time, we'd love to get involved in the sailing community in Sydney together and really tackle more of offshore sailing, which was something we hadn't done, both of us previously, really, um, particularly myself, and, and that was the aim. Um, so we sort of set an agenda and we said, let's have a sort of a five-year plan to start with at least. Um, we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into, but I, I must say it's been a, a fantastic ride so far. We, we looked around for a boat. Um, it, it's sort of a funny story. Our wife said, "If you're not going to, if you're going to go sailing offshore, you've got to have something at 50 feet, 50 feet or greater." So we sort of, okay, we looked around, and um, Wade Morgan found us uh, this particular boat in in uh, New Zealand. Um, so we went over there, we had a look, and it sort of ticked all the boxes. To be honest, we threw ourselves in the deep end a little bit, but we felt that we had some really good people around us from from the get-go. So we felt comfortable that. Um, we could navigate those aspects pretty quickly um, with the help of those individuals. I think otherwise we would have been all at sea to a certain degree, pardon the pun. Um, but, you know, they had the experience and the expertise, they had the contacts in the sailing world that could help us get a crew together and get, get going reasonably quickly. Um, and it wasn't long since the boat landed in, in Australia, we were basically straight into our first Southport race. Um, so it, happen, it did happen very quickly, so we, we, we were sort of apprehensive, I guess scared a little bit at that particular point in time. Um, but as I said, we were very comfortable with the people who were guiding us. Well, it was a pretty hairy race actually. We were, we were basically uh, um, smashing into it the whole way for the first sort of 24, 30 hours. So it was a bit of a, a real eye-opener for us. Um, the boat sailed really well. Um, at points there, we were sort of you know, looking for a podium finish. We didn't manage to get that, but we sort of just missed. But it, it was, I think, the experience that gave us for understanding what the offshore racing life was going to be like was a really good uh, experience for us. And, that, and I think that held us in good stead to, to really tackle things further, understand what we're getting ourselves really into. Um, and from there, it's just been, it's been a great pleasure to continue that, that program. We've had a lot of guidance and training with the people um, that have been around us and starting to feel more and more confident about the Helmy aspect, uh, particularly as we move into the offshore program again this year. It's been a good three year to four year learning experience for us to get, I think, some form of competency and, and uh, I guess feeling more comfort that we can um, you know, tackle those conditions. I don't think we really expected to have the success we've had, um, you know, and I, and, I, and I don't put that down to any one particular person. I think that's just down to the, to the 14 or 15 people who go out sailing with us on most, most weekends. Um, I think we all enjoy it, we all want to be part of it, uh, and we have a lot of fun doing it, which I think is even, which is, which is what we wanted to achieve as well. The boat's in good condition, so we will give it every shot. Um, uh, the crew's ready to go. We can't complain with our build up into Southport. Um, we feel that everything is spot on for us at the moment. Uh, and we're gonna really give it our best shot. Um, if we can get out of the harbour cleanly and, and uh, start heading up the coast, I think we'll give it, we'll give it a good run.